enough you truly believes until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. We are one no mama who should stay. Fafirru ila Allah inni lakum minhu nadhirun mubin. He said to them, so escape, run away, escape to Allah. I am from him to you, a warner. I warn you about him. So run away to him in order to protect yourself from him. And the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to make this famous dua. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika minka. Oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from you. The Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam after one of the battles that happened, there were some captives and the Muslims had to look after them. And there was this mother who was running from child to child, from baby to baby, trying to find her own child. She was so hysterical about finding her child until finally she found her child and she hugged her child so intensely. A Rasul was watching this with awe, with compassion, with emotion and he said to his companions, do you think that this mother would ever grab her child and throw it in the fire and burn it? They said, Hasha wa kalla ya Rasulullah. They said, never, it would have never crossed our mind. Then he said, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Fa inna Allah la arhamu bi ibadihi min hadi il ummi bi waladiha. Allah is more merciful to his servants than this mother is to her own child. There is nothing greater than the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing. And nothing can be compared to it. And Allah will refuse to put anyone in the fire just like that unless they truly, truly, truly deserve it. Al Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells us this hadith is in Sahih Muslim. He says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he created rahmah between us and he took it from himself and he gave us one portion of it and left 99 of its portion to be used in the hereafter and he left a small portion of it for us to use in the world and because of this rahmah which he placed on earth this is the reason why you find even the animal mother will be so compassionate while its baby comes to drink from its milk it is so careful that it doesn't step on its child who taught this deer, this animal, to be so compassionate to its baby, to give it from its body its milk, and it is so careful not to tread on it? Who gave it this mercy? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because of this mercy, even the enemy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala drinks from the water of this earth, is given his comfort or her comfort. This is the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ar Rahma, this nurturing thing that when you remember your parents, you remember that Allah has greater mercy than your own parents. This nurturing nature of the mother and the father, that they would rather the dust particle enter into their eye than into yours. That if they were to wake up in the middle of the night and find that you are ill or sick, they would wish that this sickness was in them instead of you. This rahmah which makes the mother carry you in her womb for nine months, and then after that breastfeed you and Allahu Akbar, there is so much pain in doing so, only a mother understands. And then after that nurturing you and going through all the agony and possibly getting diabetes and discs in her back, while the father runs around trying to provide you, the whole youth is spent on you and the whole world stops when you are born. And for this reason we are called an Ummah, taken from the name Umm, because we might as well be of one mother. All of this is due to the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you see your mother and father being like that towards you, Allah tells us a lot about our parents. You know why? Allah is telling us indirectly about Himself. He's saying, see how I've given you your parents and see how I have created this natural rahmah inside of them. How they see you as the most important thing for them in the whole world, in the entire universe. They would rather them die than you. See this which I created in your parents? Well, this is only a tiny speck of the portion of my mercy. It is my attribute 
of mercy and I've given a little bit of it to your parents just to give you a small example of who I am. Who I am. So when your mother or father, they keep away something from you only in order to teach you to become stronger in life, they are nurturing you. When you prevent your son or your daughter who is two years old from opening the fridge, are you preventing them from eating or drinking? No, you're not. But you're preventing them from eating things that are bad for them, from grabbing the jar and it breaks on their foot and then the glass will go into their feet. Or they might grab the vinegar and drink it thinking it's water. Or they might open the cupboard under the sink and drink the detergent thinking it's water or food and then poison themselves. You are nurturing them. You're preventing them from certain things because you have rahmah towards your children. So don't ever think that when Allah prevents us from something, it doesn't mean that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is punishing us. He is nurturing you because we don't know any better.